Hello, uh, this is a low wall tutorial on how to cre create a hello project project in Codename 1. So to do this, uh, we're going to use Eclipse in this particular case, unlike the other tutorial which focuses on NetBeans. So first, how do you install Codename 1 on Eclipse? Uh, this is the standard Eclipse I just downloaded from the website. You can see the detailed instructions in our download page where we go into more details. But basically, you just press the Help section, select Install New Software, and here you need to type it to add a new site, essentially. That's to add the update site. I already have it added, and that's the website. See, I named it Codename1, and this is the repository URL. You can copy it from our website and paste it into place. It's a bit too long to read. And once you do that, you can just select the codename one feature and install it uh, through the wizard next 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 and it's really simple and you restart Eclipse and you've got codename one installed. I already have it installed so I won't go through that but it's really simple and once you do that you can create a new project. Go to other and select codename one project. Click next. Select hi world like this and Next. Now you'll notice you have uh, several elements in the screen. The first is the main class name. This is important because this is actually not only the name of uh, the main class but also the name of the bundle you will get in the end. So it's really nice if it actually represents your application. So I'm going to call it High World. Now here is the package name and that doesn't seem as important but it really really is important. It must be identical. Uh, to your actual shipping package name. So when you upload an application to any store, to Android, to iOS, as uh, iTunes uh, store, uh, you need to give a package name, essentially, uh, uh, an identifier. And that identifier must be unique for your specific application. And this is forever, this is marriage. So you need to give a unique name that is owned by you so if uh, this name ever changes you won't be able to update your application so you, once you do, once you upload to the store that's it you're married you can't change this name so it's really important to name this properly to give the right company name and the right app name and be perfectly right with this I'm going to use the default because uh, this is just a demo, but you must give the right name here. So here you see we have lots of themes we can pick from. Uh, our other demos show you things with these themes, but I'll just go with the native theme, which is easiest. You can also pick the default application. All of these are GUI builder applications. This is a manual coded application that doesn't use the GUI builder. I won't go into that in the tutorials. If you know what you're doing, go ahead. Uh, the tutorials mostly focus on the GUI build applications. So I'm just creating a high world application, pressing finish. And this generates the, projects for, the project for me. Now that takes a second. It actually needs to generate uh, the resource files, which in this case are simple. But uh, in more elaborate scenarios, they can be kind of... Uh, uh, elaborate. So here we, we have the directory structure. As you can see we've got the theme file which is interesting. We'll go into it in other demos. And uh, the resource, uh, the, the source files for everything. This is generated, don't touch that. Uh, this is the high world, this is the main class. And to run it I can just right click the simulator and select run or debug appropriately. This just works. And this works like any other Eclipse project. You get the simulator, you get high world, you can play with this, you can uh, rotate or use all of the other debugging tools and stuff that we have here. And you can obviously flip it to use a Nexus skin or anything like that and see how high world looks in that uh, device. So th this is just the tip of the iceberg with this. But let's see how we build it into a native application. So, okay, how do we send a build to the server? So, let's start uh, by right-clicking here. And as we can see, 
we have lots of different options for sending a build for every one of the supported platforms. So we can right click and send an Android build and as you can see it is sending a build to the server and once that build uh, was sent we can go to the website, to the Codename 1 website and enter the uh, the build section right here, the server section and we can see the Android build running right here uh, and once it completes we will get uh, the actual native application we can install directly onto the device or download in order to upload to the application store. Here we have a previous version of this application completed and as you can see we have a QR code which we can just point our uh, Android device at or our iPhone or anything and install right from it without uh, actually having to type in a URL or press this button to email the, the link to the application to your email account. Here yeah, this is finished as well so we can see it right here. And that's really convenient because you don't have to install anything, you just point your phone and run it directly on your phone. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using uh, Codename 1. And follow us on our other tutorials.